We're talking a little space travel today, and I got to, space travel is one of the most fascinating things, not only mm -hmm. when I was a kid, but even as adults. That's right. We're putting some of that out of this world technology to the test with the help of the Strategic Air and Space Museum. That's right. Michael Sibbernson is the science and technology coordinator at the museum, and it's good to see you again. Nice you brought to in back. Great right. to see you. Okay. I'm, I'm happy to be back. All a right. lot of cool stuff today. What are we going to do? Well, first of all, what's happening? At the well, museum? we have a number of things going on at the museum. We always do. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the Great Balls of Fire exhibit, which has been going on for about three months, was supposed to have closed but through the generosity uh, of, a, of a few people, including Mutual of Omaha, we were able to extend that throughout summer. So if it's, you it's missed been, Great be... Balls of Fire, come on in. It's mm -hmm. all about asteroids and comets and impacts and destruction and things that, yeah. that kids really a love. A really so popular yeah. exhibit. It's a great, great exhibit. What about Suited for Space? Well, Suited for Space is the new exhibit th that is opening tomorrow. Uh, along with Armed Forces Day. So we've got two great exhibits going on, Suited for Space, fantastic exhibit. It's all about the science and technology and the incredible uh, stories, the, the history behind the astronaut spacesuit. Wonderful exhibit that I think will appeal to all ages. I don't know what it is, but I've always wanted to put one of those spacesuits on. <laughs> you know, if, if wouldn't you, it be something? Wouldn't it be cool to put one of those on? Yeah. Well, we have a great demo here for you today. Listen. You know, astronauts, of course, need to wear a spacesuit to be able to survive in the extreme yeah. temperatures in space, that extreme environment. And we need but, to wear safety goggles. And we, we will wear our safety goggles here. You Whoop. know, the space shuttle, uh, it needed to wear a spacesuit as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't really think about that, but you see the space shuttle was made of the same material that this cola can is made of, uh, aluminum. And under about 350 degrees, aluminum starts to degrade. Right. And a little higher temperature, well, it's completely, completely destroyed. Mm -hmm. Can you see yeah, that? You can Take see. a look at that. Uh, that's, what temperature is that? Start that's about 350 degrees. 350 degrees. And when the shuttle comes into the atmosphere, it meets a great deal of resistance. There's a great deal of what's called ram pressure that heats up the gases, which which in turn heat up the underbelly of the shuttle. We need to protect this very fragile aluminum from those incredibly high temperatures, uh, 2,300 to 3,000 degrees how Fahrenheit. Do you, how do you do it? And what the way we do it is with our shuttle tiles. Now, I brought one of these last time, but this time we're actually going to do a little Here. demonstration. Can I scoot this closer to the we, center? Yes, or? yes. Okay. Let's bring that in, and I'm going to start this torch up here. We're going to bring this a little bit closer. And while I'm talking, we will uh, be heating that up. On this side, it will get extremely hot. On the other side, go ahead and measure the temperature there. Okay, we have a non-contact yeah, thermometer. Right go ahead and... Uh, see that. That's a thermometer. You point at it, and it'll it'll take the temperature yeah. of, of any So on this side, surface. it's going to go right off of the right off of the scale until I yeah. remove that. What temperature do you have right now on and that it's side? It's reading 74.5. 74.5, which is about our room temperature here in the studio. And we're just going to let that go. The space shuttle had 25,000 tiles surrounding the entire shuttle. It wasn't just on the underneath. It was around the entire shuttle. Every single tile, as you can see, can you hold up the white tile right over there for yep. me for just a moment? And I think a lot of people, you know, who kind of followed the shuttle program knew mm -hmm. about the tile. It was, right. of course, very important. It, it, it was one of the parts of the thermal protection system, but this was probably the most popular. Mm -hmm. And if you turn it around, you'll see that there is a unique number on there. Every single tile was different. Every single tile was unique. The number would tell the engineer where this particular tile was placed onto the shuttle. Uh, is this the exact thickness of that, the uh, Well, tiles? different tiles were slightly different thicknesses. You can see over there we've got an extremely thick tile. We also have some thin tiles, some odd shaped tiles. Like I said, every single tile was, was unique and it had yeah. to be identified to know exactly where it went. This was our space suit, so to speak, for the shuttle to protect it. What, now, is, what, is, it, what is this made of? This is made up of uh, silica it scratches, fibers. It scratches too. And, and th this is uh, really, it's pure quartz sand blown with air. It's silica fibers. Fibers, and then the black coating that you see on the tile that we're heating up and the thick tile that you're holding there, mm -hmm. that black coating is a borosilicate glass. Mm -hmm. Now what's happening here, as we heat this up, you can, on this side, it's extremely hot. Can I, I will turn that a little Can I shoot my little bit. gun? And yeah, tell you what. I'll, see how I'll back up. It's probably going to be, it's probably going to say high because it's just going well beyond the temperature that that thermometer can range. Now, right now, 898, 930, and if you go right in the middle, it's probably yeah. a little too hot. What's happening with the borosilicate yeah. glass is that it's absorbing the heat and re-emitting about 95% of the heat, re-emitting it back it out again. It bounces back off, and on the back side, it's still only 75.5 degrees. That's right. That's so the, the remaining 5% mm -hmm. travels through that tile extremely slow. Now, if that tile is doing what it's supposed to be doing, it's obviously extremely hot on this side, but on this side, we should be able to. You still touch it. You can touch just it. pick it up just like this. And believe me, this oh. tile is 
Oh, oh, wow. oh my gosh. Hot. Can you do that again? But on this side, I can do that again. Hold on, hold on we'll do that again, just like that. It's extremely hot. But on this side, hold out your hand. Be brave. Look like, look at okay, that. Okay, so you're holding it. I'm going to get a meeting. Don't touch this I'm side. I'm going to get a reading of this. Right now, it's. And says, take a look at the max temp right down there. What's the max temp that you're getting? Uh, 646, right? 646 degrees. Wow. And it's re emitting that heat, and it's coming well, right off. Well, you can feel of it. it. But yeah, on this side, amazing. it's still. Yeah. Go ahead and measure that side really quick. It what time is uh, 88 degrees. So it's gone up a couple degrees, but it's hardly anything bit. at yeah. all. That's amazing. This is the space tile that was essentially the space suit for That's the space amazing. shuttle. And it's all about science. And you've got these camps to help kids that are interested we in We have some fantastic more. camps coming up. We have an astronaut camp. We have, uh, we have robotics. We have mad scientists. But the one that I'm really excited about is called Sky's the Limit. Kids will get to uh, fly in a private aircraft. They'll get to launch a high altitude balloon into near space, about 19 miles no up. They'll That's get to cool. launch rockets. They'll even get to fly in a hot air balloon. I mean, these are things that most people wow. never get to do. And these kids will get to and do. And that's it called the, the sky's the limit. And that is sky's the limit. That's, you can see and, the dates and right there. all of our camps that we have, uh, you can get more information about those. You can register right at our website, SAS museum.com. Wow, That's you've got stuff. a lot happening we here. Have a lot you do. Going can, on. can those kids see this type of demonstration at the Absolutely. Camps? We do run these demonstrations at the camps. We'll be doing a lot more, but right. if you just come on out to the museum, even tomorrow we'll have some demonstrations like this going on. That's great. And again, the big deal tomorrow is we have suited for space Opens is the grand the opening. Yeah. And again, we have uh, we have a number of uh, other events going on tomorrow, mm -hmm. well, including Armed Forces Day. There it is. It's going to be a great day to get over to the museum because I it's love at 10 o'clock. Oh, thank and don't you so much. I want to try a spacesuit on. Can you work that <laughs> out? Next you, time? you know what? We can. We have a spacesuit that you can do a photo op with. It's one of those stand behind sort of things, awesome, but right. it, it, it's very realistic. That'll work. And anyone can come on out and get a, a fantastic photo with our photo opportunity spacesuit. Well, as long as I can tell my friends I wore a suit. <laughs> there you That's go. I don't care if I actually did it. He just needs bragging material. Great <laughs> yeah. to have you back on the well, show. Well, wonderful stuff. to be yeah, back, thanks, and, and I hope to see you again soon, and we'll have another fantastic science demonstration for you. Thank you very yeah. much. Later right, in the thank show, you very much. taking a page from the Business Traveler's Book to save money and time yourself. And a free stay at Great Wolf Lodge, where you can enter to win that. Coming up next. What am I? Very cold. <laughs> very cold. Hot.